Open Buildings Designer enables us to improve the quality of our structural models by offering powerful tools for detailing structural connections. In this video, we will create bolted connections between structural elements. To do this, we need to do a long press of the right mouse button on the end plate, then select the Change Connection option. A dialog box will appear in which we will set all the properties of this connection. We may start from the Layout tab, where we can modify the dimensions of the base plate as well as its thickness. We can also apply a grout thickness below the base plate, as well as set any offsets. We have the option to shorten the column, and this will take into consideration any modification we have made to the grout thickness. Next, we may decide to drill holes in the base plate. We can determine the position of the holes by modifying the values of the width and the height, as well as the hole diameter. We may even decide if we would like to create slotted holes, as well as the slot orientation, which may aid in the positioning of the element during the construction process. We may continue creating the outer holes, The preview, which is visible on the right, can be very helpful when determining which values correspond to which holes. In the Connect tab, we may enable the bolts and toggle the welds between the base plate and the column flange and web. We can then select a weld style, but we also have the ability to edit a weld style. This gives us the option to set various welding symbols set specific settings. We will be using the filled 4mm weld style with a thickness of 4mm. In the data tab, we may specify the maximum force to be carried by the plate, the hole diameter, and the concrete grade. The dowel tab gives us the option to add dowels to the connection. Next, we have the ability to add galvanization holes. We can add them to either the base plate or the web of the connected element. We can then determine the amount of holes, their diameter, as well as their location. We can then project punch holes from either the web or the shape vertices. Lastly, we can choose to assign a specific family and part definition to the connection. Now, before we finish, it is going to be beneficial to save all these settings so that we may use them as a template for further connections. To do this, we open the Template Manager, we create a new folder, we can then right-click it and save our template. By right-clicking on it, we may also add it to our favorites. Lastly, we must remember to confirm all of these settings by clicking OK. This way, we do not have to manually set the connection properties each time we want to establish a connection between the columns and the footings. All we have to do is select Change Connection, select our template, and click OK. Next, we're going to go over creating a beam to column connection. To create a beam to column connection, we must first select the end plate tool. Once selected, we have the option to set the properties of the end plate as well as its dimensions. I will be using the default values and editing them later. 
To place the end plate, we must select the first supporting member, which is our beam in this case, and then the second supporting member, which is our column. The end plate has been generated. To modify it, we do a long press of the right mouse button on it and select the Change Connection option. Make sure that the Show Illustration option is switched on. This will make it easier when determining all of the attributes of the connection. We will start with the Layout tab. We have various options for selecting the style of the end plate connection. In this example, we will be using the automatic option. Next, we may adjust the width of the end plate to be 300 millimeters. Before we set the length of the end plate, let's first set a bottom haunch. We may manually set the flange width or choose the coped shaped option to automatically match the width of the beam flange. Next, we have the ability to add stiffeners and adjust the cut width. Now that the haunch has been created, we may adjust the length and positioning of the end plate to match our design. We have other options available, such as adding a doubler plate, a gap between the end plate and column, as well as any plate offsets. Next, in the Holes tab, we may disable the Without Holes option to create holes for bolts in our end plate. We may set the number of holes and their distribution in a symmetrical manner, or select the asymmetrical option and manually specify the number of bolts, their method of measurement, and the values of the distribution. In this case, measured from the upper edge of the end plate. In the Connect tab, we may select a bolt style or edit the existing styles if we choose to. This gives us the option to determine the amounts and types of washers to be used. We can then specify the bolt diameter as well as the work loose in millimeters.
Then we may specify the weld settings just as in the case in the previous example. We then have the option to project punch holes, add galvanization holes, add connection data such as description and ID, as well as the values of shearing and moments in the X, Y, and Z directions. We have the ability to assign family and part definitions to the connection, group, and add safety copes. In the Stiffeners tab, we may add stiffeners and specify their thickness. We can also choose the type of stiffener from a template to match our full rounded stiffener of the bottom haunch. Of course, we have the ability to edit the stiffener templates. We can add further stiffeners, such as this column stiffener. In the stiffener tab, we can add backer plates to the bolts. A top plate, as well as web plates on both the left and right side. Just as before, we will first save all of these settings as a template. We will create a new folder for the beam to column connection. Save the template and add it to favorites. We select OK to confirm these settings. Now to add this connection to other elements, I will first place some end plates in various positions in our model. We do not have to worry about the dimensions as they will be automatically adjusted to match our template. Once the end plates are placed, all we have to do is select the Change Connection option in each one and select the template we have created. This automatically adjusts the properties of the connection to match the template. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like and share it with others. If you want to see more like it, please consider subscribing to this and Bentley's other channels. Thank you and see you next time.